My name is Tom Stern, and I'm a director of photography, and I currently live in the south of France. When I was in uh, college, a friend of mine had just returned from being apprentice on um, Zorba the Greek and wanted to make a film. Neither of us knew anything about it, and because we were friends, so I said, well, I'll try to do the mechanical stuff. We rented a, an Aeroflex. I mean, prior to that, I'd had a black and white camera, so I had a vague idea of uh, photography. I was quite taken by the experience, and there was a lot going on politically in the United States, and a safe choice at that point seemed to be to go to graduate school at Stanford, which I did, and got a master's degree in filmmaking. When I'd finished, I did a uh, very comprehensive analysis that if there were a 1,000 film students graduating, 900 wanted to be directors, 100 wanted to be DPs. I deconstructed the job of director of photography into composition, kinetics, and lighting. And I figured, okay, I'll do the lighting. And that's basically what I did then for a couple of years, like 35, I guess. It was very interesting changing from being a gaffer to a DP and the, sort of the gift Clint gave me was sort of the gift of youth because I, I think I was 55 when it happened. Started working with Clint Eastwood in 1980. Finally, uh, after Road to Perdition, I was about to retire. Clint called and asked if I'd shoot his next film. And I said, well, thank you very much for calling. I only see two problems. And uh, one is I'm not in the camera union. And secondly, I know nothing about it. And his response was, don't worry about the union. And you may know nothing about it, but at least it seems like you've been paying attention since 1980. At which point I did another critical career analysis. Well, statistically, I'm bound to fail. And I'll need to leave the industry in shame and humiliation but I'm leaving anyway, so there's really no downside. And so I decided, well, I'll give that a spin. And uh, since then, I think I've shot 30 pictures. And it's very funny because the other thing about Clint is I, I work for a guy who's 86, and I'm, I'm of a certain age at this point, which I'm trying to get my birth date off IMDb with no success, but that's all right. So I guess it's public how old I am. Because he's so old, it makes me feel like I'm like, you know, sort of a kid.